Hey, yeah, uh, here you going, guys? Um, just going to quickly run through uh, the latest edition uh, for the camping gear. It's uh, a little uh, watt meter that I picked up from um, uh, Kickass. Uh, basically, got it on the internet. Now they had a sale on. I picked this one up for twenty-five dollars. Uh, they're currently going for around thirty-five dollars. Um, so basically, what it is is, uh, like I said, it's a watt meter. Uh, it can give you a lot of uh, different information. So, basically, as you can see, there's a source end and a load end. Um, it comes with the ends and plugs all ready to go, uh, which are probably you know, the best connectors you can get. Um, so, basically, what what it does for you. Um, so, the top left-hand corner there is the amps average. So that's connected to the moment. Uh, obviously the source end to the solar panels outside and as you can see there's nothing wrong with the solar panels it's just in the shade at the moment so it's just for the example uh, top right, right hand corner is the reading uh, for your battery so how many volts are in your battery um, and before you kick off uh, that battery is dead um, that's an old battery my old starter battery uh, they got about uh, five years out of so that was pretty good and it's just laying around the house at the moment because I'm waiting for a new battery to come in to uh, put in my battery box uh, for the new dual battery system. So yeah, uh, so don't wig out because it's uh, reading 11.16. That battery is dead. I'm just using it for an example because uh, obviously without a load, you're not going to get an accurate reading. Uh, bottom left-hand corner, you'll see there it keeps uh, scrolling through. Um, so what's that telling you is it tells you a lot of different information. Uh, so VM, for example, is minimum voltage. Uh, AH is the total amps charge. Okay, so it keeps a tally of total amps that, it, uh, that the solar panels have put out to the battery. AP is peak amps. So it'll tell you where it peaked out at, so when the uh, solar panels were at, at their best. So that's handy to know because uh, basically if you're keeping a track of time, you're okay. You can see what time of day that your battery, uh, correction, your solar panels are actually working at their peak period. Uh, the other one is WP, which is peak watts. Again, it will tell you about the maximum watts that is put over out over time. The other one is KWH, which is total watt hours. All right, uh, so it keeps basically a tally of uh, how many watts it's punched out from the time it was connected. Um, now, like I said, from the time you connect, it'll just keep going and it'll keep a tally for you and then you can just check it any time you want, right? So in, in reality, you know, it's uh, keeping track of what's going in and what's coming out of the panels right, and the state that your battery's at. Now, those folks out there that have, you know, paid $200 or whatever for a battery monitor, yep, and you've done the right thing, okay? This is not a battery monitor up to that sort of, you know, that level. Those battery monitors, you know, they can handle a lot more amps uh, than this little monitor can, right? And they can even handle multiple batteries, right? So, you know, don't think, you know, that you've spent your hard earned for something, you know, that you don't really need, right? Those, those watt meters, you know, you're paying that sort of money for, um, you know, you haven't done the wrong thing because, you know, they can handle a lot more than this little unit here. So, like I said, this is not a battery monitor, okay? This is a watt meter, all right? And as you can see with the two Anderson plugs, it's completely mobile, you know? So I can remove that from this system here, go and put it in the back of the ute, and I can plug it in between the battery, which then becomes the source, all right? And then put that in between my line that's running to my fridge, all right? And I can get an accurate reading of what my fridge is pulling, um, you know, from startup, Okay, or once the fridge has got up to temp, and it'll keep a, uh, a running tally on the bottom left hand corner there of how much that fridge has consumed over a certain period of time. Now, if you want to reset that, it's easy. You just unplug, wait 30 seconds, plug it in again, or, uh, and the time lapse will start again. Okay, and you, you can start recording again, right? Or you can obviously, for that sort of money, buy two of these, 
one will go between the solar panel and the battery, the other one goes from the battery to the fridge um, if you want to do that. Okay, or if you want to install the, um, you know, a battery, a battery uh, monitor and you know fix that permanently. Right? And obviously, you know, this is, this system here is mobile. Um, good way of testing solar panels. Um, I don't know whether your local manufacturer he might uh, turn his nose up when you rock up with one of these in your pocket. Say you want to buy some solar panels and you uh, you want to plug this in to make sure it's pumping out the amps that you know it says it's supposed to be pumping out. Um, you know that that's an option there as well. Um, so like I said, if you want to pay the big bucks for your battery monitor, like I said that that's fine as well. You know that's you know, that that's up to you. you know, everyone's got a budget. Um, however, this unit here, right, limitations, right, uh, current peak is 50 amps, <clears throat> okay, so it's not really made for, you know, plugging into multiple battery uh, or, uh, or massive solar panels, all right, so 50 amp uh, peak, right, uh, and up to 60 volts, all right, so there, that's like I said, you know, this, this is a little plug and play unit, it's easy to use, you know, you can go over to your mate's camp, plug it into his panels, you know, if he wants to know what they're producing, that sort of thing, so, um, yeah, uh, really good little item, um, so I'm really looking forward to um, getting out there and, you know, testing it real time, and also uh, waiting, obviously, for the tax check, get my new battery for the dual battery system, and uh, really see how good the, uh, the fridge is. So, no worries, uh, thanks very much, bye.